Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. Ahabatifillah, it's important for us to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as much as possible. And that we should use our time in this dunya for khair. And the highest deed of khair that we could be doing is remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worshiping Him. And likewise, or in addition, we find that many deeds are mentioned as some of the great deeds that the mu'min can do uh, in order to become closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worship Him tabarak wa ta'ala. For example, in the hadith, it came in a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in which I believe it was Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala and he asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said uh, he asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said ayya a'mala hibu illallah azza wa jal what deed is more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa Allah the Almighty he said salat ala waqtiha he said prayer in its time thumma qal thumma ay then he said and then what he said, Biru walidain. Kultu thumma ay. And then he said, Then what? He said, Jihad fi sibilillah. So, we see the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the prayer, which is one of the highest forms of the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that a person can do, it's full of adhkar, it's full of ways of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That this was higher than even a great deed of serving one's parents. And that was even higher be, having ihsan li walidain was even greater than jihad fi sabilillah. Letting us know that all of those deeds are from the deeds of the righteous and the salihin. And so the mu'min should use his or her time in good, not wasting our time, not wasting our time involving ourselves in the latest social media discussion that brings no benefit, not wasting our time using uh, our social media accounts to spread wickedness and sin, and not wasting our time cursing and using foul and evil and wicked language which is unbefitting of a believer. Listen to how the Salaf al-Saleh, how they used to use their time. On Atta ibn Yasar, on Abdullah ibn Ruwaha, قال لي صاحب له تعال حتى نؤمن سعى قال أليس أليسنا بمؤمنين قال بلا لكننا نذكر الله فنزداد إيمانا and this was collect. This is in Shu'ab al Iman li Imam al Bayhaqi. Al Bayhaqi. In this narration, uh, Atai bin Yasar, uh, uh, Abdullah bin Ruwaha re related on Atai bin Yasar, Rahimahumullah Jami'an. He said to his companion, Come and let's believe for one hour. Let's practice our iman for one hour. Let's nu'min sa'a. Let's, let's, let's worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one hour and have iman. Do something to increase our iman. He said, aren't we believers? This is com his companion said to him. Aren't we believers? You know, aren't we mu'minin? Alasna bi mu'minin. He said, yes. However, let's remember Allah and he will increase us in iman. So this shows us how the Salaf, how they used to use their time in a wise manner. And they used to use it to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through Talib al-ilm, to seek to draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by seeking Islamic knowledge, by reading the Quran, by making adhkar, by supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is a reminder for myself and my brothers and sisters to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and come closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad.